Hello everybody, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to episode 11 of Minecraft Waterworld Superflat Survival. And here we are, in the nether. Now, as you can see, I have built up a little base around my nether portal. Um, now, I quickly ran out of cobblestone, so unfortunately this was the best base that I could build. Uh, it's quite small, but I wouldn't say that it's uh, impossibly small. I'm just gonna have, I think I'm gonna have a furnace here. Maybe a, a, a brewing a brewing stand somewhere over here, or maybe in there, or I might just expand this space as I get more cobblestone. Um, now I just put some of these wooden stairs here because obviously I don't have any more cobblestone. I just left three cobblestone just in case if I need to craft another stone pickaxe. Um, so also, but the bulk the bulk of my cobblestone actually went to. Um, went to surrounding my nether portal with uh, cobblestone just to make sure that ghasts can't uh, um, accidentally, I guess, uh, extinguish it because sometimes gas fireballs can actually extinguish the, um, the nether portals. So that's where the bulk of my cobblestone went to. I like surrounding my whole, um, I like surrounding my whole nether portal with cobblestone blocks just in case for extra protection from gas fireballs. Now I also didn't place as many blocks as I'd like to, like right here I want to fill this area up with uh, more cobblestone just in case uh, against gas fireballs, but uh, I don't have any more cobblestone left. Um, and also another thing that I noticed is I noticed some of these particles falling down here and I was really confused about what that is, but then I looked up and I realized that there's just tiny particles of lava falling down and that and that demonstrates that on top of this block over there there's some lot there's a lava source so if I mine this block out then there's lava is gonna come out actually let's check that uh oh and this is exactly why I surrounded my base with cobblestone just to make sure that gas can destroy it Ooh. oh my god yeah anyway so I think I have proven the point that I'm gonna have to Oh, I hope my uh, stairs didn't. Oh, yep, there we go. My stairs have now become broken. Oh, I think he's gonna get my door next. Let me just. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm just really bad at deflecting gassed fireballs for some reason. Especially if it's directed. Okay, let's try to deflect it. It kind of flies around, so I have to make sure that. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, yes, got it, got it, got it. Um, now, anyways, let's uh, let's go down and see if we got any gas tears from that. Uh, I think I think it died somewhere around here. I hope the fire didn't burn the gas tear. Uh, it's a pretty useful potion making. Um, Did we get any items? Uh, it's very great for potion making. Obviously, it makes a potion of regeneration, so uh, that's what it's, that's what it's mainly used for. Uh, but anyway, I can't seem to find any drops. I can't find any gunpowder, and I also can't find any gas tears as well. Um, but these gas tears hide pretty well. I mean, they're pretty hard to discern from the nether rack around it. Uh, looks like we got some mushrooms here, which we could potentially farm. Let me just go and pick some of them up. I don't think. Yes, I don't think we have any mushrooms. Oh, gun. We're under attack again. Anyways, let me just pick up some mushrooms. Just. Let me just pick up some mushrooms so I can farm. I might start a mushroom farm on my, uh, in the overworld, and where I grow large mushrooms, but I have to make sure to place a, a canopy or a type of a closed space so that the sunlight can't hit the, the mushrooms directly, because they can only grow to be very large only if uh, there's no direct sunlight hitting them, so. Uh, that's probably also why they grow in the nether, because uh, there's no sunlight in the nether. There's only, uh, lava light in the nether. Uh, looks like we have some red mushrooms over there too, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Obviously, you need both the red mushroom and um, the kind of regular mushroom to grow. Well, I mean to make any food from it. Uh, I forgot how it's called. Isn't it called some? It's some kind of. So, oh, I think it's called mushroom soup or something like. Oh, mushroom stew. Yeah, yeah, mushroom stew. That, that that's it. Uh, but we have quite a bit of cooked chicken, so that's nice. Thanks to our. Um, our chicken farm, which I constructed off camera before the last episode. Now I'm gonna pick up all this um, nether quartz, 
sometime later. That's not really my main goal as of right now, and I don't really have a use for Nether Quartz as of right now. Um, I'm just going to generally look around the area to get an idea what the area is. Looks like we have a lot of pigments, pigments spawning around our base, so if I ever need uh, gold, or s which is something that is very difficult to get in... Um, oh wait, I think all of the... Oh no, I don't. I don't think any. Oh, there we go. Got another gas there. Uh, I don't think any of this um, gravel fell down. Uh, anyway, so like I said, we have a lot of pigmen here. So if I ever need to farm gold, I can kill some of the pigmen around here for gold nuggets. But of course, that's not really going to get me very far as far with uh, gold ingots. Uh, especially when it comes to trying to build a railway system, I'm definitely not going to be able to do that. Obviously, you need gold and guess, for powered rail systems. Uh, for powered rails, let's see if we can take shelter in this uh, cave right here. Uh, looks like he's getting pretty close to us. Well, if I do kill him, then the gas tier that he drops is probably just going to go down for lava. Now, I'm also going to collect some of the soul sand. Uh, because obviously I'm gonna need the soul sand in the future when I'm gonna uh, start farming um, nether warts. Uh, but of course, to start doing potion things, ooh, we got some gravel here. Uh, so anyway, to start, let's see. Uh, so to start potion making and obviously to get uh, loot, I have to find a nether fortress. Uh, and get blaze rods. I also need blaze rods so I can craft them with uh, eye with with ender pearls, so I can get an eye of ender. Because I'm pretty sure that in this world we actually have an ender. We actually have a stronghold here. I did add the stronghold. Um, I did add the line of code um, into the super flat preset, so that this world is supposed to have. Well, in the overworld, obviously, it's supposed to have about three strongholds per world, so somewhere out there, there are several strongholds somewhere underwater in the overworld, so um, I am actually planning to kill the ender dragon, so that's also why I need, oh my god, he's totally freaking destroying everything. I'm just getting out of here because there's just way too many gas. Um, now, I think this would be a good time to just leave the nether all together. Oh, that kind of rhymes. Um, yeah, like I said, anyways, I'm just going to collect another quartz later on when I really do need it. Let me just run around. There's freaking two of them. Oh my god. Oh crap. And this is why I build all the structures out of... Uh, yeah, I probably should put some stone down there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now this should keep us nice and sheltered. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Do we have anything to put in here? No, I'm just going to take all this with me. Um, so anyway, like I said... I'm going to be collecting all the glowstone and a bunch of uh, the nether quartz later on when I'm going to actually need it. As of right now, I think my exploration has been pretty successful. I found quite a bit of uh, glowstone. I found quite a bit of caves. Uh, I got some gravel. I'm going to collect some, of it, some more of it if I need it, whenever I need it. Uh, now, I'm also probably going to have to extinguish all these fires here, which I'm going to do later on. Uh, well, I also plan on expanding my base, maybe putting a little canopy over it, putting some fence walls over it, just putting a little foundation type of yard out there so that when the gas fire at my base, it's not going to completely decimate the area around my, uh, my base type of house. Um, but anyway, I guess I'm just going to have to go into the world and get more uh, cobblestone. Now, I was thinking probably the one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start exploring for another fortress. Uh, I think that area over there kind of looks promising, and I think I'm- Oh my god, there's just one really close there. Um, I think also in that direction over there, there's just a really large type of cavern in there, and possibly down there, there's some kind of lava lake, so... Uh, and we usually have nether fortresses spawning in large open places, like on top of uh, lava lake, so that's usually the place where I'll start looking for nether fortresses. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I find them very quickly, and other times it takes me a uh, crap long time uh, to find one, so hopefully we'll get lucky this time, but uh, anyway, as of now, I'm just going to go back to Overworld. Uh, we got everything here, now I just got to get more cobblestone, and goodbye nether. Kind of doesn't really look like a water world, does it? Seeing how there's just uh, oceans full of lava here. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to Overworld. Whoa. What is this? Wait, so... 
Wait, what is this? Whoa. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, oh, my, I just realized what happened. We just spawned underwater. Oh, darn. Um, let's see. I'm probably just gonna have to make a little, uh, make a little encasement here. Um... Just put another torch here so I could breathe, and then put this on top here, and let's see, put this down here, then set it all in like this, get some more air, uh, uh, oh, then I could use this as a little place to gather some more air, then just, uh, oh, looks like we got some of the, um, netherrack escaping into the net into the uh, nether portal and then I can already feel some water currents coming out here um, and there we go now we have uh, a spot free of uh, water along with the nether portal which of course if I walk in I'm gonna go back to the nether which I don't want to happen to me um, so anyway how deep are we actually in it looks like we are at Y70 uh, now that's that's quite deep down. I'm not really sure exactly what the water level is. Uh, looks like the water. Oh, there we go. The water level is down there. Well, looks like we have a village far out somewhere over there. Um, but anyway, that's something that I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a really big issue because this is gonna be very difficult to get out of. Um, Oh, but now that we have torches, now what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to um, go back to the nether, mine a bunch of nether rack, and then build up a little, like, a pillar all the way to the top, and then while I'm putting, while I'm putting the pillar down, I'm just going to be placing torches like this to breathe, and then eventually I'm going to get up there. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do after that is, I guess I'm going to try to... Um, I guess set up a little island on the top there from my netherrack pillar using netherrack uh, because obviously I don't have any cobblestone left anymore pretty much and after that I am guess I'm going to craft some boats and then using those boats uh, I'm going to try and swim back to my base and then later on probably off camera I'm going to smelt a bunch of sand at my main base and then I'm gonna build up like a really nice um, type of glass structure, like a glass pipe, similar to how, how I have one in my base. And then I might actually build an underwater base here, here right around my nether portal, j with, with just a bunch of supplies, chests, and other things like that. Um, and then I have a really nice looking uh, glass tube type of pillar going up inside with, uh, with of course, a ladder inside, which I can use to get up and down. Um, and I might even possibly build a rapid transit system. If I ever get any rails, I guess I'm going to connect to this nether portal exit to my main base and nether portal entrance. Uh, okay, now let's talk, and I guess I'm just going to have to go back to the nether. Um, now, this kind of really sucks, because the thing is, I mean, first of all, there's just a crap ton of gas here, and second of all... I ran, pretty much ran out of cobblestone, and that pretty much means that i not able to craft... Oh, let me just grab... I'm just going to replace this with another rack. I'm just going to put that back. Uh, because I need three cobblestone, so I can craft at least just one stone pickaxe. Uh, now, I only have one pretty much almost broken stone pickaxe and two unbroken stone pickaxes and when these run out I'm actually going to have to start mining another rack with wooden pickaxes which I don't really enjoy doing uh, now where are the gas oh there's one there. um, now I have to find a place where I can go and try to mine I have to find a place possibly in a cave or somewhere ooh he broke some of the glowstone for me how nice of him um, Okay, anyway, I guess I'm just going to try to go into this cave right here. Um, so hopefully in this cave the ghasts aren't going to bother me because obviously they can't see me. I'm going to see what's inside here, and this is where I'm going to gather all the netherrack I need. 
Wow. The nether has quite an extensive cave system. Some of these ores, too. Oh, I forgot I don't need this. these ores. Uh, I mean, I don't need nether, uh, nether quartz, uh, at least for now. Uh, so I'm just gonna collect... Oh, there we go. So now thinking of it, I think uh, I'm going to collect at least, I guess, two stacks of nether rack. That's about how much I need. Uh, that should last me at least up to the top and provide me with some solid block to build up my uh, my small island because obviously I'm going to have to set up a tiny kind of SOS base on top when I get on top of the water to the surface of the water. I'm going to have to craft a cra I'm going to get a craft a crafting table and then from there I'm going to get some boats, crafting boats and hopefully get back to my main base. Now obviously you have to be very careful when mining in the Nether. There's can there can be some lava here or pretty much anything else or some or accidentally sometimes I think I've I think I've accidentally hit some uh, zombie pigmen once, and they would just all gang up on me and just uh, kill me. And I mean, you don't want to mess with zombie pigmen. If you just even accidentally hit one of them, th then all of them are just gonna come up to you and just uh, hit you till they kill you. So, um, if I just w if if I want to collect, I might get a little bit more than that, uh, just in case. Uh, I'll probably just use up this stone pickaxe, and then I'll leave the other one as a backup. Um, now, how I collect gold from zombie pigmen, if I don't have a gold farm, is I set up kind of a little pillar on top, uh, where I stand on top, and then from there, I get some, uh, I get my bow, I get my bow, and I usually have a lot of arrows when I do this from my mob grinder, and then I just shoot all of the zombie pigmen with arrows, uh, and then all of them start kind of getting mad at me and all of them come up to me in the vicinity and then while they're just standing around me on while I'm standing on top of the pillar I just shoot them with my bow and sometimes they can be so aggressive that sometimes they can even reach me and I mean actually I think I even died like that before it's uh yeah you don't you definitely don't want to mess with zombie pigmen uh so I'm just gonna put up around some torches here just to let if I ever go exploring here in this cave again just to let me know that uh this cave has already been kind of explored and that all this is artificial. Uh, now anyway, I'm just gonna get back up here. Now, where is the gas? I gotta circumvent this fire here. There's way really too much fire here. Um, interesting. Extinguishing fire doesn't actually uh, damage the pickaxe that you're doing it with. So, I like the fire effect. I, I like the sound effect of fire extinguishing. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, and I'm just gonna build up this area on here. Uh, let's see. There we go, we got a little bit more uh, nether rack than we need, but of course more is better than less and not enough. Um, I'd rather have more than less. Uh, anyway, so, uh, let's see, uh, I'm just gonna put this. Uh, anyway, all of this is very rudimentary and hopefully we can get a good functioning base up in no time once I get back to my base. Uh, now, what I was actually going to do is I was actually going to go back to my base and mine some cobblestone off camera and then expand my base on camera some more, but seeing how it's very difficult to get back to my main overworld base from here, it seems like the main goal of this episode is just going to be to get back to my main base. Um, and, uh, let's go. Now, I'm going to try to get into that little pocket that I built there. Ooh, I just got some damage from uh, being stuck inside some of these blocks. Uh, now let me just start swimming up. I can feel some currents working against me. There we go. Now we're out of these currents. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to be trying to collect each of the, uh, the torches that I place. So just in case... Uh, I don't really want to waste torches on this. I want to collect each of the torches that get... Oh, really close up. I don't really know why I had to do that. I could have just uh, went up uh, to the surface and uh, got some air there. Oh! Wow. Really close. I really thought that we were going to have to get a boat and swim there. But it seems like we're actually very close by. That's very nice. Uh, and the water's pretty clear. You can see how the nether portal is down there. Actually, what I... Th what I think about now is that would actually make a very great obsidian farm. If you think about it, if we build a kind of a large base down there, what I could do is, uh, is I could go to the nether from that nether portal over there. I can actually see over there. Um, 
and then that's going to transport me to the nether and then from the nether I can go back to this uh, portal over here and then it's going to spawn this portal at, at this location every time so then what I can do is I guess I could mine the whole obsidian and it makes these little ledges there as well if it spawns on well basically not on a solid block um, that's just to prevent you from falling off although there's really nowhere to fall off since uh, it's spawned in the middle of uh, of a pretty deep ocean um, so then I guess I could mine out all this cobblestone once I get a diamond pickaxe and the only way I could get actually the only way I could get a diamond pickaxe is either by trading with uh, villagers or by or I guess oh we have some squids there or either by going to another fortress and finding some diamonds or a diamond pickaxe as loot but anyway once I get a diamond pickaxe I'm gonna be able to mine out the obsidian uh, from the nether portal and then, of course, I'm going to have a large base constructor around here. Um, and then when I do that, I'm going to get up here, and I might have a rail system that transports me straight from under my base over there back to my main base over there. And then that way I can go back to the, to the nether portal and then trans get transported to the nether and then get transported back to overworld, which is just going to spawn another um, obsidian nether portal on the same location that I just mined it out here so that way we can have infinite cob uh, obsidian infinite obsidian without having to go around villages very very far away to try to find uh, lava sources to make obsidian and obviously you could probably go to the nether and get some lava from there but it's really a hassle since we only have one bucket as of now um, so yeah that was kind of rambly sorry for that we just accidentally um, put it on the wrong spot I'm just going to make a 3x3 three three area right here. Um, I'm actually just probably going to have to have a little area right here just to make sure that um, I can get down and up properly. And then I'm just going to put a little pillar up here. Um, probably just better light this up to make sure no mob spawn. I don't want any mob spawning here. So let's see. Let me just. Uh, I'm just going to put a little pillar up here just so I can see it. Mm, I think that's tall enough. I'm definitely going to be able to see this from my base. I like to put around like uh, five torches like so. That looks really nice. Looks like a nice beacon. And then I just jump down there. And although, of course, I might be able to craft a boat, but I really don't think I should. Or should I? Um, let me just uh, craft a crafting table. I might need this crafting table up uh, some other time, so... And then we could just craft a boat like this, so we don't have to take such a long time swimming by just using my Minecraft body to swim back to my base. Um, so this is the original village. I still have, I think I have my, I think I have a little base down in that village over there. Um, hmm, interesting. So we actually came from this angle and not from that angle over there. I thought we were going to come from there. Uh, now, how do we have... I just saw a zombie spawn on top of my nether portal. Well, that's weird. Uh, now, anyway, I'm definitely going to... Yeah, I really don't like when the boat goes off like that. I'm definitely going to possibly build a little um, bay here. I'm going to make... I, th I, th I think I'm going to use soul sand. I think I heard that when uh, boats collide with soul sand, they don't take any damage because it's like a lower block than average. So, I mean, well, than a regular block. So I'm going to put some soul sand around here, which I get from the nether, and then I'm going to make a little dock here where I store some boats, and I can go back and forth to that area over there before I uh, build a rail system one day, but obviously I don't have enough gold for that, and I'm going to need, um, I'm going to need to build, uh, a zombie pigment farm to do that. Uh, anyway, as you can see, here's a zombie over there. Uh, now, I don't really know how that happened. I guess what I could think of is that he... I saw him actually spawn on top of the nether portal, so I guess I'm going to have to light up the nether portal. I haven't really seen that before because I thought the nether portal emits enough light by its own that it prevents any spawning. Uh, but apparently not. I think he's going to have to die this time. Whoa. Holy crap. I'm so glad that I actually jumped out. I was just about to uh, kill him and then just let the drops fall down, but I'm like, no, I should probably collect the drops, and I just wanted to jump out at him to uh, carry out the killing blow, and then I saw the iron ingot jump out. That's really awesome.
And Irenegat is very, very rare in this world. I'm going to put this in my rarities chest. Oh, we have three diamonds. So, it looks like we... I didn't even know we had three diamonds. I hadn't played this world in so, it's such a long time that I didn't even know I had diamonds. Uh, well, at least I didn't know I had three diamonds um, in this world. So I could create a, I could craft a diamond pickaxe if I wanted right now, but uh, I don't really need obsidian for anything as of right now. So I'm just gonna keep them in this form. Um, looks like we got some nice uh, loot here. Ooh, we got some some of these chickens uh, glitching out. Uh, there we go, nice. Uh, let's see. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and breed all these chickens. Uh, although, what I'm gonna, just going to do is I'm probably just going to uh, drop down these uh, mob drops. I'll also, probably collect some of these mob drops. I like to do that periodically. Ooh, we just got some chain mail ones. Why am I not able to hit the spider? Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, let's see. There we go. Nice, nice. Oh, we have too much gunpowder. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to grab all this gunpowder here. Just place enough of what I need. Um, okay, now my inventory is maxed out. I'm just going to put it like this. I really don't remember why I don't have signs in here. I really thought I was going to have signs in here. I guess I didn't place them yet. Uh, it's kind of confusing because I haven't played this world in a while. It looks like this is the gunpowder chest. Uh, so drop all of this gunpowder out here. Uh, actually, gunpowder might be pretty useful in this world considering that... Um, we, since we have sand here, we could actually use... We could craft a lot of TNT and that could be fun to play with. Uh, but anyway, let me just craft some uh, glowstone, because that's what I'm just going to do out of this glowstone dust. Uh, so I could just make this look symmetrical. There we go, nice. And save up this glowstone for later when I get some more glowstone dust. Um, and eventually I want to replace this area and this area, and possibly even these two blocks with glowstone. Um, it's a nice storage room I have here. But anyway, I still have some lava here, but it's kind of useless now that I have access to infinite lava. Pre pre well, pretty much infinite lava now that I can go get it. At now that I have access to the nether. Um. Looks like we need to drop down these arrows as well. There we go, nice. Um... Wow, we do have a lot of mob drops here. I'm kind of not even, barely even keeping up with all these mob drops around here. Just to make sure to keep at least one stack of arrows with me at all times. Uh, just for protection. Ooh, we got a witch here too. Uh, let's see. So we have a lot of bones as well. I think we have, yeah, we have way too much bones. Uh, much more than I really need. Even though bones are pretty useful. Of course, they're used for bone meal, and that I use in my semi-automatic uh, farm. Oh, he can actually still throw—he can actually still throw potions from here. Uh, of course, I use this in my bone meal farm here, and that's why I have much less bone meal than all of the other uh, mob drops that I have. Um, anyways, let me just collect this rod and flesh from here as well. I'd say that the most useful drops that I really get from a, from a mob grinder is, I'd say, bones, arrows, sometimes string, especially when I'm crafting wool, and the rare drops from witches and all these such other drops, uh, which I really need as well, I think. There you go, rotten flesh is right here. Yeah, this... I have to say that this, um, this mob grinder is way overkill. I really do not need as many drops as I get from here. Um, and of course in the future I plan to expand this, um, this area here by adding more colors if I get more colors. I think I might get some more dyes by trading with villagers, or I think I might make a light gray dye by uh, crafting bone meal and ink sacks, I think, and then I'm just gonna add that up there. Um, now anyway, let's see. I guess... Oh, what did I want to do? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I wanted to light up the top of my mob grinder. That kind of seems really weird. I never really thought about... It seems like some of these blocks up here are dark enough that they can spawn mobs. So let me just place two torches on here. And then no more zombies will spawn here. Now let me just make sure that none of these... Uh, 
one of these ladders to go into the nether portal. Now, I make sure to put the nether portal right here just because I don't like the noise of it making these noises, so that's why it's a little bit far out here. here. Uh, now, I was thinking about what I could do further with this island. Uh, let me just go and collect some of these eggs here. Um, now, I was thinking what we could do next in this Let's Play, and, well, or with this island in general. And I think I'm just going to... Let's see. There we go. Wow, we have way too many eggs here. Now, what I thought we could do is we could potentially make a fully automatic chicken farm. So, I could have redstone contraption, which automatically collects all their eggs and then basically spams them through a dispenser and um, spawns new chickens, waits for them to grow up. And then when they grow up, it automatically kills them and collects the drops. Now, for that, I'm going to need some more iron, which I'm probably going to have to get from, um, from zombies and to get more iron or from another fortress. Uh, so I'm definitely going to try to go and explore all the nether fortresses that I can explore um, to get some loot, which I might not be able, which I am, might not be able to get in the overworld. And I think I might also build an additional grinder, which is only for XP, or I might modify my existing grinder so I can turn it into an XP grinder. So that way I can get rare drops from zombies dropping down, and then I can basically just farm that until I get more. Um, more rare drops like iron ingots, uh, and then I just, because obviously the redstone fully automatic chicken farm requires uh, at least one hopper, so I'm gonna need quite a bit of iron for that. And obviously, I'm going to be building, let's see, oh there we go, I can even see from here, I can kind of even see the nether portal from here. Uh, but anyway, I was even thinking about so yeah, I was, I'm going to build kind of an underwater base over there surrounding my nether portal as well. Uh, I guess I'm going to do that on camera mostly, uh, but what I'm going to do, as far as off camera work goes, I guess I'm going to just breed some of these chicken, just random housekeeping work. I'm going to be collecting more, hopefully more redstone from the witches. Uh, let's see how much redstone do I actually have. Um, kind of even forgot. Where is my redstone held at? Wow, I have not played this world in way too much of a long time. We got quite a bit of sand in here. We got quite a bit of wool here as well. A lot of eggs as well. Uh, oh, yeah, we have quite a bit of. Uh, oh, I think we got. I think we got these as loot from different villages. And I think the enchanted uh, golden leggings. Some of these we got as drops by. Um, rare drops by zombies, and maybe in skeletons. Uh, I think we have rare drops. Oh, there we go, we have 22 redstone. Uh, well, that's quite a bit of redstone. So, I'm hopefully going to be able to use this redstone for more redstone contraptions. Also, as soon as I get more iron, I'm going to be able to make an automatic, hopefully I'm going to chicken farm. I don't really have any plans to expand the island anytime soon, but if I were to expand the island, I guess I might add a little dock here, and then later on, I'm gonna make sure that if I expand the island, I'm gonna leave a little kind of canal type of, um, I guess a little type of a canal in the middle so that I can take my boat and swim out in any direction. Uh, I guess I might make a dock. I guess I'm gonna make a dock and each corner. So there's going to be a dock over there and a dock over there near the nether portal. And both of these are going to be lined with soul sand, which I get from the nether. Uh, I'm going to be doing most of the exploring and soul sand mining in the nether uh, on camera, uh, unless of course it's something like, uh, I guess, uh, nether quartz mining, which is kind of boring to watch. So that is my, that probably is most likely going to be off camera work. Um, and I might want to take my boat and explore some more villages, some very far away villages, if I ever do need any far away villages. Uh, well, I mean, if I do need to find more loot, maybe I might find some more iron ingots there. Uh, maybe even possibly craft a hopper from that for my automatic chicken farm. Um, now let's see, what else, what else should I say? Um, oh yes, and off camera, another thing which I'm going... Another thing which I'm going to be doing off-camera, um, 
after this episode ends is I'm going to be collecting a bunch of I'm gonna go down into a uh, down underwater and underground to mine a bunch of cobblestone because I'm all out of cobblestone um, and I'm also gonna be mining a lot of sand because I need sand to get some more glass uh, for my base down there which is going to be yeah for my uh, nether for my uh, nether portal exit base down underwater. And another thing which I'm going to do is I'm probably going to be... Um, but what I'm going to be doing on camera is I'm going to be probably expanding my base on camera. But I also might do it off camera as well. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I think this episode was kind of boring other than getting out of the nether and out of the underwater um, nether exit. It was this episode didn't really have much anything in it so uh but anyways i hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching uh if you got to this point in the video then props to you i don't really think anybody gets to end in many and in, in any of my videos because uh i get a lot of people telling me my videos are boring and uh i need to add more action and more interesting things in my videos so anyway if you got to this point props to you uh, if anybody of you got to this point, just leave a comment down in the description. Uh, well, leave a comment down in the comment section and write "I got to this point." Just, just to see. I, I just wonder if anybody got to this point in this video. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. This was Minecraft. Uh, this is episode 11 of Minecraft Waterworld Super Flat Survival. Definitely looks much more like a water world in the overworld rather than in the Nether. It's kind of hard to believe that it's actually a water world at all, considering that the Nether has no water at all. Uh, anyway, this was my Krylix, and uh, see y'all guys in the next video.